Hey everyone, Cyber Gamer here. Welcome back to another episode of Seopolis. We are back in our base, getting some work done, getting some progression done, and maybe producing a ton of resources. Let's check it out. And we are back in our lovely little base. We are gonna take a little break from Twilight. We'll continue that next episode. A little recording scheduling, some stuff came up. But I did go ahead and make us the induction battery. Now right now our max storage is 9.6 trillion. We're at 91 billion. So we're pretty good on power for a little while i've got those three i'm probably gonna add a fourth one just to just stack up on the power until we actually get our reactor going once the reactor is going then we'll be all good that thing's gonna be producing a ton of power i plan on having the turbine right here in front of the battery kind of going all the way up to the ceiling that way it's just kind of spinning i think it'll look kind of cool as our power room as far as the generator goes as the reactor itself uh, I'm thinking about putting it down there, but I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with the build as far as that's concerned. But once I get that all figured out, then we'll go ahead and throw that down. So, we have the power coming in, power going out. Um, I totally got that backwards. Power coming in, power going out. Uh, that way it's feeding our entire system that we have going connected up with Flux Networks. I also went ahead and... Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. I did our ore quadrupling. So now we have the ultimate injection factory quadrupling our ores. It comes through here, does its whole processing. I've got the filters moved over from our purifying factory. And that's the cool thing about mechanism. You, from the tripling, I added another setup to make the hydrogen chloride, which I'll show you in a sec and just added another machine and it continues on the regular line and same thing for the quintupling there'll be a little setup for the fluid and then another machine that'll send it to here and continue it onward as from there now we're going to go check out what i set up to get the fluid so right here we have the thermal evaporation chambers if it receives water it'll turn the water into brine and then if it receives brine it'll turn that into lithium you can then turn the lithium into a gas, have it come into the crystallizer fluid. Yeah, gas, and have it come into the crystallizer to make the lithium dust. Now this is used for most of the end tier stuff, including the induction battery part. So here's the induction cell. This is what actually stores the power. And if you go through all the way through the crafts, you need lithium dust to make the basic one. And then that one's used to make the next tier, which is then used, so it ends up multiplying quite a bit. The induction provider is what actually decides what its output rate is going to be. I have one induction provider in there right now, so our output rate is up to 52 million RF per, per tick. I highly doubt we're going to need more than that, so <laughs> that should be plenty for us. And also the brine can be turned into a gas and then crystallized into salt. So I have that set up too, both of which are connected to our system just in case we need any of them for crafting. And here is the setup to make the fluid we need. So I have the brine coming in here and the brine will end up getting separated by the electrolytic separator and it separates sodium and chlorine from there. The sodium, I just have it being dumped because I don't need it, not at the moment. And right here, I have the chlorine coming in mixing with the hydrogen from this electrolytic separator and those two mixed together to make hydrogen chloride. And I'm, then I'm using the entangler porter which can transfer items, energy, or gases, or fluids. So I have it receiving into here and getting sent over to our ore quadrupling system. Other than that, uh, oh yes, I did also go ahead and start preparing. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the, well at least get started with Mystical. Uh, we have the twilight to finish. After the twilight, I wanna go to the end. Uh, and then it's to space. So I do wanna get the materials started gathering up for making these because it's mostly just a bunch of resources you have the ultimate singularities which is all these singularities these all take 5,000 of the machines so i do want to set this up for automation and that way we have enough resources to go ahead and get that going so right now i have the sewer 
collecting sewage. I have some pigs up there. It's coming down to the sewage composter and that is turning it into the fertilizer. And the reason I needed fertilizer, well, um, uh, was just for fun, apparently. Uh, I planned on using it uh, on the plant fertilizer, I think is what it's called. Yes, the plant fertilizer. So you can feed fertilizer into the plant fertilizer and it'll increase the growth just like bone mealing it. What it didn't cross my mind was the fact that mystical agriculture doesn't get bone meal with regular bone meal. It needs a special bone meal. So I ended up setting this little system up. So the range on this is 13 by 13. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 9 by 9 is the area right here. So we have the exporter exporting the mystical fertilizer to come in here. And then we have the plant sower. It gets the seed and sows it. And this is the plant gatherer right here that gathers the plant. So I put a filter on here to pull the seed out immediately and put it in the sower. And then I have a filter here to pull out all the essence. So now we're gathering up essence this way. I do want to make eight more seeds and have this one solely for inferium. And that won't be a problem because each seed only pulls one seed. So it's not like we're going to get clogged up or anything. So even having a full nine seeds in here, it's only going to produce nine seeds. So this will just constantly keep looping and getting bone mealed and all that good stuff. Over here, I do want to start putting our mystical agriculture seeds. I do want to make another setup, and I might even make one more layer up higher. Um, put a floor maybe right there. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I haven't decided. Um, I might just split them off like that. We'll figure that out once we get there. <laughs> uh, but for now, this will be our little bitty start into mystical agriculture. So if we come up here, we got magical seeds. I did go ahead and make the Inferium Infusion Crystal. I went ahead and made two of them. They only have 256 uses, and yeah, that goes quick. We'll throw those in there. Mm, Mystical Agriculture is a pretty old mod. A lot of people have been through it, so I don't want to drag you through each individual crafting step. In case you haven't done uh, 116 crafting using the Infusion Altar and Pedestal, I'm going to go ahead and show just a couple of the tier ones. We got Ice, Wood, Stone, and Dirt. These are very, if you're wanting to use mystical agriculture to produce your resources, these are very good starters. The wood produces any kind of log. Ice gives you access to ice for any kind of stuff you may need to craft with. Stone gives you smooth stone and cobblestone. And then you got dirt, which can be mix, mixed with other things to give you sand, gravel, and stuff like that. I think dirt and stone mixed together give you gravel and different crafting recipes like that. So I'll show how to make a couple of these just to kind of give an idea and... Then the rest of them I'll kind of just craft and kind of show you as I'm going. Down here is where we have the tier 2 seeds, then tier 3. Then, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started, and I'll kind of let y'all check in and show these. Each of these challenge quests just wants you to finish all the seeds. Uh, you get to have a random, oh, this is what it was. You get random mob seeds as rewards. That's cool. You get two seeds from this one, two from this one, one from that one. Another, ooh, that's going to be a nice one. And then for the last one, you get sea bucks and then sea buck seed. So I don't think we'll finish. I don't think, yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to finish all this because once you get to the later tiers, it needs ridiculous amounts of inferior. But this will be a that We'll definitely be able to get started and get some resources producing up and get started just gathering that stuff up and being able to store it. Okie dokie, so I do have the materials we need to go ahead and make all eight of those. So I have all the agglomeratios to make the elemental seeds. So in JEI, it'll show you to place the blocks in specific locations. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to show you the way JEI shows, and then I'll show you it doesn't make a difference. So once you have all the blocks in place, you put your prosperity seed in the middle. You have to give it a redstone signal to activate it. I'll normally just put a lever on it because if you leave it on, as soon as the last item is placed, it'll go ahead and just do the craft. So you never have to kind of watch it or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get some of these crafted up. And like I said, it doesn't matter. So we're going to stick all four of them over here. And then we'll stick all four of these over here. And as soon as we throw the seed on there, because the redstone lever is on, it'll go ahead and start crafting it. 
and we can even mix it up like this as long as all the items are on there it, it doesn't matter so i'm going to go ahead and make the last of these seeds we'll get them planted up in our little farm and we'll move on to the next tier all right so we've got all eight of those first seeds we can go ahead and collect all these and all these and i'm pretty sure that would have unlocked nope we probably got to get oh yeah once we start okay yeah that's fine the quest line's unlocked yeah that's why it's not great so we can start here and get them going I'm pretty sure as we advance through the crystals, it'll start unlocking the rest of the tier seeds, but we'll go ahead and start working on the tier twos. So we've got honey seeds. Uh, that's gonna be a little difficult. We need a bee mob cage. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna collect the resources for the ones that we can make. Uh, and it's basically just this process quite a bit with the uh, seeds. Right now we're pretty late game. I don't necessarily need mystical agriculture. It's just with the singularities for the end game creative items, just adds a bunch of just resource gathering. That's pretty much all it is. It ends up just becoming a waiting game. So I'm just wanting to throw up mystical agriculture just to get it started in the background. And then we'll use that to kind of compensate for the wait time of having to wait for resources to gather for the singularities. Alrighty, I will gather up resources for tier 2 seats, and I will return once we're able to make a few of them. Okie dokie, so after all my troubles uh, fighting it, we finally got a decent system going. So we are getting essence in. There's all the essences. We're getting extra fire dirt. I'm pretty sure just because I don't have 9 different seats right here. I mean, a fire essence. Um... And the fire seeds is right here in the starting slot, so it ends up getting planted in the extra plots, which is no big deal. We're going to make some more seeds, and then we'll fill those three up. And then we'll have all nine slots. Right here, you can lock the input so that we know other seeds can get put in there, so that way it'll just lock and make sure that those are the only seeds getting put in. And then everything will get planted, and we've got this thing bone mealing them. Also, I went ahead and made the Imperium farmland, which is actually producing seeds. Um, so we have 360 uh, Inferium seeds and then bundles of all the rest of them. So that was cool. I didn't actually have to craft any more seeds for this. It was a, actually just multiplied on its own. And so now we've got nine. We've got about 23,000. That's from about a day. So um, maybe less. Um, but all that's taken care of. And so this is going. I have all the recipes up here for the next tier seeds we need, so I'm going to get some of those going and crafted. I also wanted to go ahead and get started with the ore quintupling process. So is what we'll end up doing is we'll need sulfuric acid to infuse with that. This we're going to end up needing for the mechanism reactor anyways, so setting up an automation for it right now will just help us later. So if we look at the recipe for that, that takes sulfur trioxide and water vapor. Water vapor is pretty easy. You just deconcentrate water and it turns it into the water vapor. So that's not hard. It's the sulfur trioxide that normally takes a little while. You have to make oxygen mixed with sulfur dioxide. To make sulfur dioxide, you can just take sulfur dust. So I do want to go ahead and make some of those, get those started as well. So I'm going to work on some of the seeds. I'm going to get some of the machines crafted up. Okay. So... I'm still working on the seeds, but I wanted to go ahead and I said, let's set up or when quintupling. So I did go ahead and set it up. We are getting the quintuple. So we have sulfur trioxide being here with all the chemical stuff. We got sulfur being input in here to make the sulfur dioxide. We've got oxygen. And then right here, the final product, sulfuric acid. I have this going into an entanglement porter. And as you can see right now we have quite a bit so i wanted to have this back up because like i said we're going to need this for the fissile fuel that we're going to be needing for the mechanism reactor and oh this is how we're making our water vapor let's just turn water into water vapor I, I know it's a mess but um yeah it's it looks great from out here ah ah and it's quiet so over here we have the setup for or quintupling. We have the dissolution chamber here, getting the sulfuric acid through the entangler porter. Gets the ore chunk, turns it into dirty slurry. This gets water and washes it to clean. This turns it clean into a crystal. Crystal comes in here and multiplies on further down the line. And we just 
took some of the water we were already using for the oxygen and just brought it over here. So yeah, now we have Orquin Tumpling. And I'm going to get back to the seeds, but I wanted to go ahead and get that knocked out and that way that is actually done. But anyhow, all right, I'm gonna get back to it. Alrighty, so this is my horribly ugly little <laughs> automated setup, but I went through and made each of the crystals and all the way until I could get enough insanium to make the master infusion crystal. And this one has unlimited uses. So like when you're making the seeds and all the essence and stuff, it gets very annoying having to craft each, each different tier and go through all the steps. So I just had hopper sitting in and you can just have the items just going straight into the pedestals. I can stick about six items. Just keep flipping this lever, making more seeds. <laughs> this is kind of why I've just been kind of skipping it because it's just the same process over and over again. Alright. I gotta keep flipping it. Yep. Just about done with these. I wasn't able to get the coral or the honey tier 2 seeds. Coral, I need to make some more coral, which goes through that whole process we went through at the beginning sieving and a waterlogged mesh. And the other one is the honey seeds, which I'm going to need to make the bees. And then, then I'll be able to get those made. But now, we have most of the tier 2 seeds. I'm just missing these two. So the next tier will be the tier 3 seeds. Uh, we got some bronze, so we're getting a lot more metal. Looks like we should be able to make... All of them except for these. I haven't gone to the end, so we don't have the ender biotite. That comes from the end itself. Let me get the tier 3 ones done, and then we'll start working on getting the farms improved for more seeds. Yeah, all right, cool. And a few more crafts later. And we've got a bunch of tier 3 seeds. Everything seems to be working pretty well. I've already started putting in some of the essences over here to start filtering the drawers. I went ahead and upgraded all of our farmland to the Insanium farmland. So each plot has the Insanium farmland. And I went ahead and made a second uh, Inferium Essence farm just because, well, to make all that Insanium to make the farmland, I used all of our in Inferium. <laughs> so went ahead and decided to make a second farm. So now we got two farms. Both of those are producing Inferium. I added three more seeds to this one. So in this one, we have all of them locked in, so no other seeds will go in. These are the places that it's going to plant those seeds, and it keeps placing them. This I already have hooked up to the drawers. I have the other ones hooked up to the drawers, but since they're locked, no new items will get inserted to a random drawer. So I'll be able to keep them. I wanted to kind of keep the seeds over here and then have the essences go. I'll probably end up adding one or two more layers to the top just to make sure we got plenty of space for everything. I didn't count for the seeds because on the regular farmland, it wasn't giving you any seeds. But once I started upgrading to the mystical agriculture farmland, then the chance for seeds kind of went up. And, and there is a small chance we'll need to add more. I don't, I'm not really sure. We still got tier four and tier five seeds. I guess I could go ahead and add the other row. And if we need it, cool, we got it. If we don't, Cool, we got it. But, yep, so these are all the essences we have so far for all the seeds that we're gathering. And that's quite a bit. Definitely a good thing to get us started. I'm going to wait for all the seeds to fill up the lower machines. That way each slot has a full stack. And then I'll start throwing them in here and having them get sucked up into the storage system. So until then, they will just fill up. And then eventually this thing will start filling up with seeds like that. Okie dokie, and I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for this episode. We got quite a bit done. We got the tier 2 and tier 3 seeds. We've got ore quintupling. Next episode, we should be finishing up the Twilight Forest. Everything should be going according to plan, unless any hiccups come up. But as far as I know, we should be getting that finished up, get those bosses finished up, and start producing those resources. We do still need to set up the mob cages. I still have the backpack with all the goodies in it with the syringes so that way we can set up producing the drops that you get from the twilight bosses 
But alrighty, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, you can hit that subscribe button and catch the next episode. I do live stream on Mondays and Wednesdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Central Time. I am playing the Divine Journey 2 pack. It's an expert pack with some crazy recipes. Uh, yeah, it's we're going to put, say, quote-unquote fun. But <laughs> come check it out. Come chit-chat for a little bit. And if you hit that bell, you'll get notified when the next episode comes out and when I'm going live. All right, and we will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.